Hello my students, how are you? So today we are going to discuss something very important related modern and traditional remedies. Okay. So please uh, open lesson 10 from your English for today class 6. First of all get your book ready front of you okay. and the outcome of this today's lesson uh, if you look at your book you can understand read and understand written instruction read and understand text ask and answer questions participate in short dialogue and conversation on familiar topics write short paragraph these are our today's outcome so let's go through in section A, we have some pictures and some words are given there. You have to read, understand and match the words with the pictures and you have to discuss it with your partners. Here I have a list of pictures. So please have a look in these pictures. Do you see this picture? Can you see? What is this? Right. This is? Paracetamol. When do we eat paracetamol usually? When we suffer from fever, right? Thank you so much. Next, go to the next picture. What we have in the next picture? Can you see it? Can you read it? What's the picture name? Think. Aloe vera? No, it's not aloe vera. So, it's, it's a plant, it's a tulsi plant, you know tulsi, do you know this, it's a, it's a medicine, right, when do we eat, we usually eat it when we have our gastric problem like vomiting. The next picture is about, it's very tasty, you know, right, so it's called Yes, honey, very sweet. The next picture is about, do you know it? Very familiar. All of you know, I know, definitely. It's a tree. Its name is, yes, you know this and its name is Nee. Right. Thank you. The next picture is about, a medicine, we use it for cleaning our room, we use it as an antiseptic sometimes, okay, and it's sablon, very easy, right? Thank you so much. You know it, very colorful, yellow color, we use it in our curry, do you know it? Its name is what? Turmeric in Bangla, halud, okay. Thank you so much. Now you can, we have the last picture. Yes. It's also a very common plant and name of this plant is aloe vera. Okay. Aloe vera. We drink juice from aloe vera. Okay. This is very healthy. Thank you so much. Let's have a look on the board and also let's have a look on your book. Now you can easily match this picture and words, definitely, right? Here I have written some words, okay? So let's go to section B. Section B, we have a reading passage, okay? So in this passage, we have some words. And now I'm going to make the meaning of this word clear to you, okay? So ginger, say with me, ginger, G-I-N-G-E-R, ginger, ginger means? In Bangla, Ada. And resistance, Shohokhamuta. Resistance, tolerance, ability. And this is a resistance. This resistance is usually used for mechanical purpose. Okay? Mechanical purpose. In your radio, in your mobile phone, this resistance is used. And you have your resistance, you have your Shohokhamuta. Okay? Then clove, lobongo, 
one kind of ingredients used in cooking. Do you know it? And here you can see another word. Let us see what we have next. Paper, paper, Maurice, very easy. Cinnamon, Darusini. So, you know it, right? Thank you. Garlic, Roshun, very easy. We are very much familiar with it. Sensitive, I have not written the meaning of this word. Try to understand the meaning of this word. Feel it, okay? Feel it. Sensitive, my skin is very sensitive. It is very touchy, okay? When I go to the dust or go very close to the dust, I feel allergy because my skin is very touchy. It is very sensitive. Months, when you have a skin injury, you apply some oil or ointment, ointment on the injury. So, uh, mansing means malish kora in Bangla, okay? And pins, pins, a pins of salt, when you are making saline, a pins of salt, three fingers, a pins of salt, okay? So, this is very sensitive, sensitive, she is very sensitive, you can see, and this is a pins, pins of salt to make saline, okay? Thank you so much for going through the picture and note down the meaning of these words. So get ready for reading this passage, I am reading it and read aloud with it, with me, okay? And try to understand the meaning, feel the meaning, okay? No need to translate it into Bangla, feel it. People around the world are slowly changing their attitudes towards medicine. You understand? All over the world, around the people, they are changing their attitudes towards medicine. They are not using chemical medicine. They are using natural medicine. Okay? Hope you understand. They are, they are not taking tablets, but they are taking some natural remedies like honey. Okay? More and more, they are turning to natural cures. People are becoming conscious, careful, and they are uh, trying to use natural cures instead of using medicine because medicine has side effect. Okay? Natural cures are made of natural things. Natural cures are made of what? Natural cures are made of natural things like herbs and plants. Sometimes ago you were watching some herbs and plants, right? For example, tulsi, for example, aloe vera, okay? History says, history says that natural or herbal remedies are nothing new, okay? These natural remedies are not new. From the very beginning of this time, of this world, people are using natural remedies. When there was no medicine, okay, no chemical medicine tablet, that time people were using these types of natural remedies like honey, okay, neem, aloe vera. People used all this along in different ages. All ages people use these natural remedies. Herbal medicine were used in ancient civilization like India, Chinese, Greece, Egypt, and Rome. All, all civilization uses these natural remedies. Okay? Some ancient, ancient means old. Treatment system are still in practice today. Now people understanding that natural remedies is better than chemical remedies. That's why people is becoming more interested to the natural remedies nowadays. They have come down through generations, generations to generations from various civilizations. For minor barn, for a minor barn, a small barn, silly barn, a small barn, okay, or injury, 
the doctor may prescribe you a tube of ointment what a tube of ointment if you have an injury on your skin you may go to the doctor okay right and the doctor may give you some ointment a tube of ointment a tube of toothpaste for brushing a tube of ointment for okay right but for the same a rural grandma may put some aloe vera or use cold water you understand when you are going to doctor doctor is prescribing you doctor is prescribing you what ointment tube of ointment but your grandma your grandfather they are recommending you to use aloe vera on the skin injury if children have cold <coughs> okay if children have cold in our country grandma gives them honey and tulsi leaves to eat honey and tulsi leaves or tulsi juice and honey mixing mixing okay making a juice and to drink okay that's very helpful to cure your cold when you have your cold okay or cough and it works too if we have a minor cut or wound grown up may put some turmeric same thing when we have an injury when you have a minor cut remember minor small not very serious small cut when you have a small cut you can apply turmeric but if it is serious definitely you have to go to doctor turmeric marigold or aloe vera on it rural people usually use garlic you know garlic okay neem or turmeric to cure skin problems with ex experience they have seen that this remedies work moreover they are easy to get natural remedies are always easy to get in our surrounding environments we have lots of natural remedies neem aloe vera honey from honey bee okay not only that they are easy to get are cheap they are not costly they are not costly they are very cheap very easily you may get them and most often are without any side effect that's the great effective side of natural remedies natural remedies have no side effect okay we have read the passages you read the passages again and try to understand the meaning go through the video pause and listen again and again okay now here we have a column natural cures and chemical cures okay i showed you some pictures sometimes ago right so this picture shows paracetamol what types of cures this is this picture is natural cures or chemical cures this is not from plant right natural cures may come from plant or nature this is not natural this is what chemical paracetamol chemical right tulsi 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 natural cures or chemical cures tulsi think Yes, right you are. Thank you so much. Tulsi, holy basil tulsi is natural cure, right? Because it is from nature. Right. Thank you. Thank you for your saying. It's chemical. Chemical cures. It is who is chemical or natural? Can you say? Right. You are very good. Talented. Thank you so much. So, honey is natural cures. Great. You are so talented. It's natural. No. I'm wrong. You are right. It's chemical cures. Great. Thank you. I'm sure it's not. It's not natural. It's chemical. It's chemical. No. It's chemical. No. I'm not wrong. You are wrong. Oh, I see. Thank you so much. You are right. I'm wrong. It's natural. Okay. It's natural. What about it? This time. this time i'm not wrong this is definitely natural cures right am i right thank you so much thank you for supporting me hello my beloved friends 
Now it's time to answer some questions after reading the passage. Hope you understand the passage very well. Let's have a look in section B2. We have some questions. I will answer one for you and rest of the question you will answer and show it to your teacher when your school will open. Okay. So number one question, what are the natural cures made of? Natural cures, we have some keywords. Heading words, most important words in this question. Natural cures made of. Okay. So, natural cures are made of natural things, most often herbs and plants. Okay. Hope you have got. But do not cut this sentence directly from the passages. Okay. Like me. Uh, write in this way Natural cures made of. Natural cures are. Here, auxiliary verb, take the auxiliary verb, are made of natural things like herbs and plants. Okay. So, next four questions you will answer as your homework and you will show it to a teacher. Try, definitely you can. Okay. So, in section C, we have some words in the box. Okay. Uh, you can see. And uh, from your book C, section C, bottle, box, can, package, tube, a dash of ointment, a dash of esteem, like this, okay. So I will give you one solution and next of the problems you will solve by yourself. Dash a ointment, of ointment, a dash of ointment, a tube of ointment, okay, a tube of ointment. So one example is done. And next works, uh, you will do it by yourself. For example, here we have a dash of aspirin, a dash of bandage, a dash of foot spray. And you have to use these words. Do the work by yourself and show it to your teacher. So here you have to make a dialogue, okay? How can I help you or can you help me? Yes, of course, why not? How can I help you? Do you have anything for dry skin? Yes, I have aloe vera oil and olive oil and ointment. Which one do you want? Okay, I need aloe vera oil. So here is it. Thank you. Like this. Okay, you have to make dialogue. Make dialogue with your partner. So in section D, it's a peer work. You have to use this word can, could, may, should. And uh, here in this book, you have given some example like this. You want your teeth to be strong. Okay. Ask for a good toothpaste. Your partner will suggest or offer one. So you have to make a dialogue with your partner. You have toothache. Okay. So you are asking some solutions to your partner. Your partner will offer something. Hi, good morning. Morning. So, how are you? I'm not so oil. I have two tag. What can I do? So, can you help me? Yes, definitely I can help you. So, in your two tag, you may take some cloth in your teeth to use. Okay. And this will help you uh, shoot your pain, decrease your pain lower your pain okay so in section e we have some problems and what can we do so you can read from the, your text for cough for cold okay or tooth achy or headache okay so these are some problems uh, read this uh, paragraph silently and try to understand and feel so, thank you. I hope you understand. So, what are the messages from this? When you have your cough, what can we do? We can use, we can drink grape juice or honey, okay? For cold, we can, from your text, you can see lemon juice is very good for cold because it contains vitamin C and for tooth egg, you can use clove, okay, for shooting your pain or ache, headache, 
for minimizing your headache eating apples gives good result so these are some activities please read them and try to understand these are some home remedies so my dear students get ready your pen and khata and get this note take your homework do this homework show it to your teacher so our today's homework is make a list of 20 remedies so far you have got a large number of remedies right so make a list of 20 remedies that we may use to cure us okay so this is your homework like this make a list one two three like make 20 list and make a list of 20 remedies and show it to your teacher you don't have 20 remedies in your book you have some list of remedies and think outside of that remedies from your surroundings think do brainstorm okay think deeply and make a list of it so thank you so much actually what we have lunch today can you say one please can you remember from the very beginning we have learned modern and traditional remedies right and some natural remedies some differences between natural remedies and chemical remedies uh, go through these activities practice them again and again from Kishore Batayon watch this video again and again okay if you have any misunderstanding or if you don't understand don't uh, forget to mention it in the comment box go to the comment box make comment we will give the solutions okay you can also share your opinion that's all thank you so much see you again bye bye